ashamed to take a pot with a hand like that. Yeah, it's funny how people are different. <laughs> Clear up, old pal. Uh, this is all I've got left. Lend me a couple of bucks. Forget it. I'll never see the 40 bucks you borrowed from me already. Hey, what do you want? Collateral? Take my watch, my shoes. How about Freddy for a week? He makes a great watchdog if you keep him hungry. All right, here we go. Five-card draw. Jacks are better. How creative. Right. Tell that to the collection agency, pal. <laughs> Give me one. This time, deal it from the top of the deck. Still trying to draw to those inside straights, honey. Huh, there you go. Why don't you just give us all your money? Free, free. Two, two. You lose, suckers. Look at that. A natural royal flush. <laughs> wow. Unbelievable. My luck is changing. I can feel it. The golden boy is on a roll. <laughs> I hate to interrupt Cleavers at play, but I have a matter of some concern. I'm sorry, Freddie, but I left my wallet in the house. No, sir, it's about my father. Could I have a semi-private conversation, please? You, uh, you oh. wouldn't happen to know his whereabouts, would you? I haven't seen him for a couple of days, not since our poker game. Yeah, we haven't seen him since then, either. At the game, did he seem distraught or prone to sudden bursts of anger? Of course. Until he started winning. Winning? My father? Oh, yeah. He cleaned our clocks for over a hundred bucks. Now I'm really worried. With money in his pocket, anything can happen. Oh, maybe we should call the police. Look, my father gave me two strict rules when I was a young lad. Never wake him up before nine, and never cooperate with the police unless they've got a warrant. All right, well, I'll check the hospital. Yeah, you come with me. We'll check all these local hangouts. Anticipating your benevolence, sir, I prepared a list. Uh, the Tiger Lily Club, Benny's Blast Off Pad, Let's Just Keep a Sleeve, Booby Trap. What's this one? Ah, uh, it's a place out on the highway. It hasn't got a name. Out front, it just says Girls, Girls, Beer, and Girls. And the way his little eyes would twinkle when you set a frosted mug down in front of him. Did you ever notice that? Oh, Gert. Gert, everything's going to be all right. Things have a way of working out. Yes, women over 40 remarry all the time. Oh, no! <laughs> oh, hello, officers. Come in. Thank you for coming so quickly. No problem. I'm Lieutenant Bennett, and this is Officer Mills. How do you do? Which one of you is Mrs. Haskell? 
sorry to disturb you, ma'am, but we need more information for the missing persons report. Mm -hmm. Could you please describe your husband? Well, he's tall, dark, and handsome. In a skinny sort of way. And his hair is soft and curly. When he uses the right shampoo. His eyes are like... Gert, Gert, maybe you should just show him the photograph. Oh. Wonderful sense of humor. Very nice. Uh, does he have any distinctive features like a tattoo or a scar? Well, he does have a pretty strange laugh. How's that? Well, it kind of goes like, heh, heh, heh. No, Gert, I think it goes more like, ha, ha, ha. You mean, heh, heh, heh? No, it's actually kind of, heh, heh, heh. Heh, heh, heh. Heh, heh, heh. Heh, heh, heh. <laughs> okay, okay. Now, Mrs. Haskell, I'm going to ask you some questions that may not be so pleasant, but we're only doing our job. Go ahead, Lieutenant. Thank you. Has your husband ever disappeared like this before? Yes. Uh huh. And do you know if your husband has ever uh, consorted with other women? Yes. Uh, has your husband ever dealt with known criminals or other undesirables? Yes. Do you know if there's anyone that might want to hurt your husband? Hmm. Oh, it's hopeless, isn't it? My head is gone. I'll never see him again. Well, don't you worry, Mrs. Haskell. We'll find your husband. We'll circulate this photo and file our report with every division. I'm sure he'll turn up in no time. Thank you again, officers. Good afternoon, Mrs. Cleaver. Uh, forgive me if I don't come up with an appropriate compliment on your outfit today. I, I'm a little down. Oh, that's all right, Freddie. Just a house dress. Any trace of your father? No, but it's comforting to know so many others share my concern. There are six bookies who are as anxious to find him as I am. How's Mom? Much better. We finally got her out of the crawl space. Think hard, Gert. And what is this? Is dinner supposed to cook itself? Hey! Dad! Sweetie, you're home, you're home! Oh, sir! Hey! Gert! Stop kissing that vile man! Don't you realize what he's done to you? You're right! Where have you been, you no good louse? You know how long I stayed in that crawl space? Hey, 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 hey! How's this for an explanation, huh? <laughs> oh, my God, he's robbed a bank. Well, I can see you two have a lot to talk about. Uh, uh, Mrs. Cleaver, before you go, I just wanted to say that man, you've always been a beacon of light for me, both in my somewhat turbulent youth and in the calmer waters of adulthood. I just want you to have this. Eddie. Hmm. What the heck? Here's a little something for you, Mary Ellen. Put it towards that tummy tuck. Oh! Like Mary Ellen, think of Gert. She deserves the first crack at him. <laughs> Eddie, where have you been? And where did all this money come from? Gert, life is full of ups and downs. So far, mine's been nothing but downs. I never got the cute girl in school. Or won the ribbon at the fair. Not to mention your numerous business failures. Thank you, son. But once in every man's life, a streak comes along. The lucky streak of a lifetime. Kurt, my time has come. I'm on the roll of my life. What are you talking about? The fortune cookie, don't you see? It predicted the whole thing. After I cleaned out all those saps at Wally's, I needed bigger fish to fry. So I made a beeline for Atlantic City. Oh, Eddie, you know that judge ordered you to stay out of New Jersey? It was amazing. Everything I played, I won at. Craps, roulette. I even picked the winning numbers in Kino using Bomber's birth date, 5 75 Excuse me, sir, but Bomber was born in January. It doesn't matter. I'm on a roll. So there I was in front of the hotel lobby with all this dough, wondering, what's my next move? And then I see this big bus. 
And suddenly it hits me. The bus? No, the answer. There he was, all stretched out. Sleek, fast, muscular. And then he winked at me. Who? The Greyhound on the side of the bus. And then I knew why I'd been put on this earth. Why? Racing. Ready? Meet our next meal oh. ticket. Bob. Oh, yeah. Look at that big, beautiful baby. Who loves his daddy, huh? Kiss, Bryce. Give us a kiss, Bobby. Come on, give us a good kiss, baby, baby. Not bad for a first effort, son. But next time, do a little better job behind the ears. Eddie, we have to talk. Can't you see I'm busy? Oh, Eddie, please don't do this. Don't gamble this money away. We could use it. We could pay off the mortgage, fix the water heater. Oh, I could finally buy myself a new bra. What's wrong with the one you've got? Look, you got it all wrong, Gert. I'm not going to lose money. I'm going to make it. You use my good shampoo. Relax. I'm done with it. You have your toothbrush back, too. You put my toothbrush in his mouth? I boiled it first. <laughs> He's a dog! Bob is not just a dog. Bob is a four-legged gold mine. Oh. Is he a champion, sir? Of course not. You can't get good odds on a champion. I'm even going to teach him how to limp. Then nobody will bet on him. Isn't that right, my little Bobby Wazzy? <laughs> sir, perhaps you haven't had time to fully evaluate this particular venture. Freddy, you don't get it. I'm on a roll. Oh, let me demonstrate. Flip a coin. Sir, I don't think that... Flip it. It's gonna be tails. what I tell you? I can't miss. <laughs> Sir, once again we find ourselves drifting on the river of opportunity. On one shore lies the land of financial stability and growth. On the other, that of high risk and broken dreams. And I think we're going over the falls again. Son, I'm very disappointed in you. And it's a shame because you would have looked quite handsome in that new Corvette convertible. Mom, Dad's got something there. I mean, we have to strike while the iron's hot. Freddie, you ought to be ashamed of yourself. I am ashamed, Mom. But I really want that new vet. No! Eddie, this time I'm putting my foot down. I've taken a lot of bunk from you over these years. You've embarrassed me to the point where I can't even go to the beauty parlor anymore. Why throw good money down the train? I mean it! I've sacrificed everything for you! The first time you went bankrupt, you stood there and promised me you'd be a better provider. The second time, you got down on your knees and promised me you'd change. Well, I'm still waiting, and it's pay-up time. She doesn't know what she's saying, Dad. Uh, she hasn't eaten much since you've been gone. Quit sucking up, son. Gert, you win. What? Take it. You can have the money. Take the 13,000. 14,000. 15,000. 135. But uh, why quibble over a few pennies? I'm on a roll. All I need is a few bucks to start Bob's career, and I'm in Fat City again. Really? <laughs> Gertrude Haskell, come on down. <laughs> It doesn't take much to make a woman happy. <laughs> Fifteen thousand big ones! You call that a workout? He's not even sweating. Sir, dogs don't sweat. They pant. Frederick, open your mouth. If Bob doesn't win tomorrow's race, you can kiss those gold fillings goodbye. I think I could squeeze a few drops out of them. Hey, Wally, old buddy, where you been? You know, I'd like to ask you the same question. You're supposed to be remodeling my living room. Did we sign a contract? Yes. Well, you're my lawyer. Get me out of it. Come on, Eddie. Is this any way to run a business? Look, oh, Sam, these hands were not made to build houses. Yeah, I'll say. These hands were made for counting money. For dialing a car phone, for saying, you, uh, bring me another drink. And after tomorrow's race, <laughs> that's all these hands are going to do. How can you be so sure? You don't know the first thing about training greyhounds. 
When you're on a roll like mine, what's to know? Eddie, all streaks end sooner or later. You see those two flies on the windowsill? Hmm? Yeah. When are you going to put your screens back up? Which one you think is going to leave first? <laughs> Who cares? I say the one on the right. <laughs> you see that? I can't miss. Eddie, will you listen to me for a minute? Now look, you have a wife and two kids who depend on you. You can't keep betting their future on roulette wheels and card games. Look, Sam, if I wanted to hear sermons, I wouldn't take my Walkman to church. <laughs> Come and get it, Roberto. It's T-bone time. <laughs> Next number six, Killarney's Delight. Then it's Bob uh, wearing number seven. Bob's weight, fifty-five pounds. Maybe drive to every off-track betting parlor in the county. I don't understand why we and couldn't stay at the track. Are you kidding? You Ladies don't bet this kind of money all in one place. Please piss everybody off. Besides, this way it's out. harder for the IRS to catch up with you. <laughs> And okay, but listen this dog A thousand to win on number seven. Oh, and uh, change into something nice. Because after the race, I'm going to want to celebrate. Eddie, <laughs> hey, look. Look, Bob's eyes just went up. Ah, I'm rich, I'm rich. See, look, go get us a couple of beers. I'm going to enjoy this. You, Joe, I paid for lunch. Not to mention the gas and mileage on my Mercedes. All right, all right. Since I'm going to be a millionaire soon, I'll flip you for it. Fine, but we'll use my coin. Heads. Tails. What? I meant two out of three. I'll flip it again. Tails. Heads. Eddie, Eddie, your luck is changing. The dogs have reached the starting gate. Wait, wait, open up. Open up! Hey, give me my money back! I didn't know what I was doing! I was on medication! I thought this was a bank! Help! Ready for the start. And they're off! Out of the gate, it's Killarney's Delight, Luna Nativo, and Bob. Followed you, by Quick and you did this to me! Me! You did this just to ruin me! You've got a millstone around my neck ever since you were a pudgy little rich kid. Here comes Bob running up along the rail. I have to behind you every day in school. No wonder I got such bad grades. Why did I ever trust you? Look at those beady, shifty eyes. What kind of a name is Lumpy anyway? Trip on yourself, Eddie. You're going over the edge. Delight is holding on. Bob is second. And at the wire, Killarney's Delight by a length, with Bob finishing second. Luna Nassau was third. Oh, wait, get me! Eddie! And I'm the side of the bus here, get me! Killarney's Delight. Okay. You're more important than second. Okay? Your wife, your family. Die, fat boy! Die! I'm gonna get lousy mileage anyway. Come on, sweetie, it's not that bad. You didn't lose everything. The money you won in Atlantic City is enough to pay off all our debt. We're finally in the black for the first time, and it's all because of you. Wake up, Kurt. Stop living in a fantasy world. Oh. Oh, Eddie, you didn't. Of course I did. I had a sure thing. But I hid that money in a new account. How did you... <laughs> oh, Freddie. A Corvette, Mom. What could I do? Uh, yeah, Wally was right. Who am I to shoot for the stars? Every time I do, they shoot back. Uh, the worst part is that I let my family down again. I sold Bob. I know it's not much, but here's a thousand bucks. You and Freddie deserve it. Well, now's a good time to unhitch your wagon from this old workhorse. I'll be leaving now. You deserve better. I'm a nag. A loser. Uh, did I mention I'm a loser? You're not a loser, Eddie. You're just not a very good gambler. We don't want you to leave. Okay, I'll stay. You leave. I think what Mom's saying is our place is with you. No kidding? You really want to stay with a bum like me? 
<laughs> then you won't be needing that money. What do you say we have that big T-bone I've been saving in the freezer, huh? <laughs> uh, love Pumpkin, uh, you really shouldn't be cooking tonight. Uh, you and Freddy go grab your coats. It's the least I could do. Oh, honey, do you think we really should be spending money at a restaurant? Who said anything about a restaurant? We'll go over to the Cleavers and mooch a free meal. Fives and nine. What do you got? All right, I win again. Oh, my gosh, I'm going to be late. What are you talking about? I have a date with Danny. He'll be here in 20 minutes. You can't leave a poker game when you're winning. Now, sit down and let's play cards. Dad? Shut up and deal. Fine. We're playing seven card steps. Go whole wild except aces. Double Annie and five dollar raises after the third bump. Tonight at 7 Eastern, TBS presents a movie for anyone who's ever been in love, who's ever felt the happiness or the pain, and learned that love means never having to say you're sorry. Ali McGraw and Ryan O'Neill, Love Story. But now it's another hilarious adventure of the new Leave it to Beaver, next on TBS. <laughs> Oh, but it's a little bit of 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 a little b